Hey guys, Nemo here, and we're playing some Obedient Dead today. Love this hand. Can't say no to this. Um, I've got a murder. I've got uh, Chet Medallion, got Crippling Blight. Uh, I've got a, even got the Rise from the Grave. So yeah, and I'm gonna be ramping up with this. I've got the three lands I need, and the Jet with the Jet Medallion that's four lands, and then hopefully from there I shall draw something to uh, further my land getting and eventually drop some bomb. And hopefully we're gonna be able to survive him. Um, I don't know about crippling blight on that guy, but um, it's probably gonna be the best play I could make with this. Hmm. Ah, crippling blight is gonna be more useful later. Um, killing that guy isn't as useful as killing something that actually means he has one less power on the board. Um, because this guy is just gonna change into something else. Killing that guy, however, with Crippling Blight. Man, uh, man, oh man, I'm happy I waited. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do that instead of playing the Jet and Deli. I'm gonna get up to the Murder either way, so. And I can play that turn after, uh, like, I can play that turn 4. Um, so, yeah, really happy I waited with the Crippling Blight. Definitely the right decision here. That would have been a lot of damage coming in, and I'm happy taking that out. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's happiness. Um, we've got the murder next turn. Um, so hopefully he doesn't play too many dudes and instead just plays one dude. But it looks like he only has three more cards in hand, so I'm already starting to win on the card hand there. It um, doesn't look too dangerous here on that front. Um, I would be more worried if he had like four or five car more cards in hand. Uh, I don't know what he did. Um, he lost the one. Well, I don't know like he, he just started with not too many cards in hand actually and uh, guess what I'm gonna play Meyerstall here <laughs> so let's do it and let's see what he has in his hand there all of them Mr. Dodds all of them <laughs> that was a really sweet draw on this this turn is the perfect way, place to play it looks like he's stuck on uh, you know having a bad hand anyway so I'm gonna play play my was gonna play my Chet in anyway since he didn't play anything there so I'm really happy to have drawn the buyer stall, that, that works out real well. All of them, please. <laughs> I don't know what he is still thinking about. Is he really gonna wait for the timer to, uh, yeah. Okay, bye Oblivion Ring, and he leaves the game, because that's game, yeah. Because uh, he didn't have anything. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, see you guys in the next game. Well, I was kind of sad losing that perfect hand I had in the previous game due to him just not having anything, but this hand looks pretty sweet as well, so let it go. Um, looks like he's running for some reason uh, 66 cards, so that's kind of weird, but uh, no reason to play Meyer Stoll turn 1 here, so that's past the turn. Um, looks like he's playing the burn deck or goblins and the goblin is not having a one drop it's kind of strange so probably burn deck but you never know yep burn deck indeed and uh, looks like I'm gonna be signing blood which is dangerous against it actually no I'm just gonna quit with blight at 2-1 seems like a better play here so yeah let's let's do that because next turn I can still um, signing blood and in case he like well he can't go to free so unless he plays two things drops a land and plays two things in one turn, that's probably not gonna happen, especially not with a control deck like his. And yada yada yada. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was so lame. But yeah, this guy is also would have been a good target for Crippling Blight. So yeah, Crippling Blight is serving its purpose in this deck. And that's why it's in there. Anyways, don't like signing a block too much here. Looks like he's playing kind of an aggro version of that deck, which I don't... Uh, well, I'm gonna have this Liliana Shade, probably not gonna, gonna play that anyways. So might as well just play the Jet Medallion, because that helps out the Liliana Shade as well. Means I can uh, probably um, keep a mana up for, for Meyerstall, or making my Liliana Shade bigger. I might actually play Meyerstall here. No, I, w I just want to see all of his hand, not just a bit of it. Um, he's gonna kill Lily and the Shade anyways, so. Um, Fire Charger. Well, I like having killed this uh, Torch Fiend, by the way, so that he can't kill my, can't get rid of my Jet Medallion. Oh yeah, of course, this guy is the Pyre Charger. I was like, what the hell is a Pyre Charger? But that's it. 
there. Um, so he's gonna kill my Liliana Shade, get in for quite a bunch of damage. I would like to have a removal spell here. Um, of course, that doesn't help him. Um, I could get his Torch Fiend. Nah. Um, let's uh, see his hand and decide what to do. Um, if he has like just one burn spell, then I'm, I, sh I might be safe. Oh, get rid of fire, flames of fire, blah, 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 blah. that that card, <laughs> and uh, now I can block him if he doesn't draw anything. So he has free lands in hand. Great, <laughs> great, absolutely great, because that makes me feel a little bit safer. And uh, that actually wouldn't would have been nice if I didn't have anything to block him. Then having a lot of land in hand is good with the fire charger, but uh, well, it, you know. Having a lot of hand, land in hand is never good. No, having the pirate charger is good when you have a lot of hand, land in hand. So, we'll definitely block there because I'm at 13 life. Need to start uh, surviving. Diabolic Tutor, insanely good for me. I um, was thinking about like getting Liliana Shade back here, but I'm just gonna play Diabolic Tutor and uh, get a 6 drop. That shall win me the game. Such as. Massacre Worm. Um, corrupt mm, Masco Worm. It's gonna be Masco Worm because Masco Worm kills his O1. So yeah, um, he's gonna get for sex six damage. Sex what? <laughs> what am I say? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to play Sign Blood here unless I'm I'm more safe because he's gonna get in for a lot of damage, which I can. That's why I kind of felt about, uh, strongly about just getting corrupt here to uh, get my life total back. But, uh, I want to get this massacre worm out. I want to get a fret on the board as well uh, as getting rid of his dude. So that's why I chose to get massacre worm. And then um, I can rise from the grave the massacre worm if he kills it, which shall be really really nice. Maybe I shining blood his face, cause. Yeah, he has a lot, of, a lot of land on, and he could easily just draw like a blade. So we're definitely not safe here yet. Um, this guy can be played for five mana here. Um, if I drop this, then he can be played for four, right? Yeah, I think I. Yeah, okay. So I'll do that. And then massacre worm. Nice, nice, nice use of my mana there. And hopefully he just keeps drawing land now, because I know that the two remaining cards in his hand are probably land, since he had so much land there. And um, he's at 18, so I kill him in 3 turns, which is nice. Uh, so just land. Maybe he does already have the blaze in hand. I hope not. Certainly hope so. I hope not. Um, maybe I just... I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, I definitely don't want to play Signing Blood ever <laughs> myself. Um, so I probably just played the Liliana Shade here. And. Well, if I rise from the grave, the other Shade, well, I've. Uh, I can kill him. Yeah, I can kill him with this one. I, I'm just gonna say go here, because now I can. Ooh, Searing Spear on me? Or. Oh shit. Oh shit, that doesn't look good. That does not look good. Um, maybe he just hopes to top deck something. Um, looks like he's passing the turn, so it seems to be the case. In which case, I'm really happy. Uh, man, I have Rune Scar Demon. I kind of don't even. I can play that for five and then get. What can I even get? I don't know. No, I have to uh, just hope that it's gonna work. Um, one. I'm gonna do this one by one. Because I want to be able to still react to whatever he has. I'm going to take a lesson from the computer here and do it the way that the AI does this shit. And this might piss him off, but I don't know what's in his hand, so... And... Well, actually, no. That's that's enough, because I have Signing Blood. So... Signing Blood, you. There you go. Chandra's Outrage. Oh, man. Okay. So, he takes me to... One. Two, I mean. So yeah, that was a very close game then. Good game, sure. <laughs> that was very, uh, very interesting. Uh, control deck against control deck. I don't think he's built his deck quite correctly, so that really helped me out because normally lose to that deck very easily with Obedient Dead. 
but uh, luckily he wasn't playing the very best version of it. Anyway, I'm rambling and I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. My name is Ben Nemo and I will still be Nemo in the next video. See you then. Oh hey, nice. 1-1-1. One, one, one. <laughs> we won 1-1 one, and 1 games. Yeah. Yay! Four very funny jokes. See you later.